Good morning. Good morning. I think this is the first intro we've ever done on the beach. Yeah, it really is. And we've only gone to the beach. This is now the fourth time since we moved here. <laughs> and uh, but we had, we had a, an early morning. Made sure the vlog was up before we went to the beach. I don't think we explained that before. Yeah. Yesterday we tried uploading it from our phones at the beach. It was way too hot. It's the internet signal self. was not good. Mm -hmm. We're at Vanderbilt Beach now, yeah. which is like maybe a half mile south of where we were yesterday, but it's not a state park, so there's far less shells. It's called like more manicured. Like it's more like forest. The red tide that's scaring people away is actually working to our benefit because it's gone. Naples was always like a mild thing, but it was really bad last week. This week's a, it's gorgeous, but here we are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we're just gonna uh, kind of relax and enjoy the water. Have we said what we're doing tonight? So we leave tonight, this afternoon, like around five. Yep. But we actually have reserved, we got the VI pass holder, the annual pass event. The extra hours at Magic Kingdom. From 10 to midnight. For annual pass holders. Yeah, so we, we, we waited, got the email, signed up like, it was like a, you know, pressing, be online at 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. kind of thing. Yeah. So we're actually driving, we actually got it, unlike the Ma Moonlight Magics. So we're actually gonna drive tonight back to Orlando, bring our stuff and Eve back in her apartment, probably change and hop back in the car to go to Magic Kingdom to see how empty this park is. Yeah. Can I just point out, as we're getting ready to leave the beach for the second day, this camera survived both trips multiple hours longer than the day that we went to St. Pete's and I almost broke this camera. This baby is just so ready to be in air conditioning. She's hot as Do it for the vlog, baby. Do it for the vlog. Say your first word on camera. Break the internet. Look at this puppy. She's so cozy. Alrighty, so it's been a while since we've said anything. We're packed up. We're all packed up. This is the official end. The official well, tonight end. at Magic Kingdom will be the grand finale. But yeah, today, like the like vacation. The vacation palooza that we've been talking about for now. I don't think we added this weekend to it, but I think we should because we're really rolling home for two days. Yeah. It's been like 20 days now of vacation palooza. <laughs> it's real. finally coming to an end. Yeah. So we had gone to Publix, we got some pub subs, we just relaxed at home while Violet took a nap, and it was. Nice. We had mango key lime pie. Have you ever had it? I had never had it before. I really want Alexa stuff. Like I really want an yeah, Echo or a Alexa they have Echo, it. it's Alexa really Spot, nice. Alexa Dot. I think I'm gonna make some Alexa skills for our Brookhart project. So put a comment down below if you use Alexa yeah. stuff, and if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see. We're going to the outlet mall, and then we are gonna head out around five o'clock. It's so, an outdoor outlet mall, so you can come with. I just don't think she can go to the store. Right, she can't go to the store, but she can come. So I'll just hang out there in the shade. And yeah. We'll take turns about yeah. This is gonna be very interesting with this very hyper dog. In this very, yeah, hyper and nosy, in this very busy outdoor mall. But it's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun. Look at her, she's freaking out. So I've been with Grant and Violet and Grant's mom looking for shorts. Christina and Sarah went to some other stores, they're meeting up with us now, but uh, Eve's really good, but she's like really tired in the heat. These stores are really good about letting dogs in them, which was awesome. But we're going to Hoshkosh Bagash to pick up some, some, uh, Pajamas for Vivi. On the road again. She's so tired. She keeps falling asleep. But I feel like she feels like protective of us. Like she's popping up like, I must check on the humans. <laughs> so she like will be like dead asleep on my lap, wake up and do this for like five minutes, like making sure the road's clear. We said goodbye to the mall. It was a hard one, so that's why we're walking hours and hours and hours later. Probably have like an hour and a half left for our drive. Less probably. If I can keep the speed we're going, it should be a little less. We're home. We're home. We're home. 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 It's 8:30. It's 8:30. Sarah's gonna take a quick bath. I'm gonna start getting stuff set up, and hopefully we'll be out of the door at 9 o'clock or around it, because the event technically starts at 10. 
We don't really have expectations for this. VIP, a VI pass holder thing they're calling it. I honestly feel like it's a, it's extra magic hours for so, like select registered annual pass holders. Honestly, if I just walk around Disney World from 10 to midnight, what do you think? That's, that's good? Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna get rolling. Magic Kingdom's fireworks are literally welcoming, welcoming us back to Disney World. Oh, very end of the happy ever after. It's 9.30, we just parked. The event starts at 10. So we'll probably get in there just about. Disney World's happy to have us back. So we're gonna TTC, we're gonna ferry maybe? Or just see what's faster looking? Yeah. The Express is probably bumping, like good, right. speedy. So that might be the good option. Um, but we gotta guess, check into this event or whatever it is. So it's 10 to 10. 10 to 10. Get ready to see this crowd that's leaving because we're getting here and the fireworks just ended. Wait until you see this crowd we just saw on the monorail. It is. Insane. I don't even know how we're gonna. I didn't see a path for us to like get into the park from this exit crowd. This guy's right this way. Look at right all ahead. those people. And the thing I'm worried about is the lines. These guests were able to get into lines for attractions up until they can still get in line for the next 10 more minutes. So I don't know if this two hours window will be enough to clear out the regular day guests compared to the people. And your passer is going for the VI pass holder event. So we got like three or four kiosks right here for pass holder check-in for the special event. They're bumping here and then giving wristbands up there. So there's the wristband. First stop is actually getting a fuel rod. The only things that are open to eat at are Starbucks and Cosmos. I'm super surprised Casey's is open. Oh my god, we gotta get everything in two hours. Across the park, here and Let's there. Just so hang out. So in just about 17 minutes, we did both Barnstormer and Under the Suit Aerial. This is the, the end of the line for um, Seven Dwarfs. I don't know if we'll be doing Seven Dwarfs tonight, but we are about to go on the carousel because, you know, Are you happy? I'm sweaty. Man. I'm sweaty too. Like it's so much hotter than I expected it to be. Maybe I'll get it because it's a special for our annual pass holders. <laughs> Air conditioning and Mickey's Hill Hard Magic is bumping. What do you do when you go on the and you're a holder and you not as many people? You go on the ride that doesn't need this. What are you doing? I'm Instagramming. <laughs> Sorry, little feller! Alright, so te technically, ooh, technically attraction four is complete. I want to point out something. It's one of my one of my favorite scenes in all of any Disney attraction. Isn't that one? It's the Peter Pan scene. 
I love it, but Sarah, something gross happened to her. What? Oh, <laughs> I yawned during the VR guest scene when they shoot like the delicious food smell at you and I like tasted it. She like swallowed it and ate <laughs> it up. I think we're trying to hit Smart World and then we're like boom, 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 boom. We'll go back probably and try to do Dumbo. We'll do that even closer to midnight. Almost have an entire crew, the smallest, world's friendliest crew for ourselves. We've got two friends. We'll be friends with it by the end of the cruise. Times are dropping like crazy. Seven Dwarfs, we just walked past 30 minutes, but it gets crazy because Seven Dwarfs is only 30 minutes, but Winnie the Pooh, yeah. still 20. But we have an agenda, we've got a plan, we're going on Dumbo now, and then we're gonna backtrack back through uh, Fansland proper. Flying Dumbo to find out. This is the ride that you were most excited about. I was, I was so nervous when we first, it was 35 minutes earlier. We like haven't been able to go on this together the last couple of times because of being with little ones and family and yeah. friends. So I'm soaking in. She's got her arm around me. Like I got you. Thanks, Dumbo. I needed this right with my with my main squeeze, Sarah. How about Winnie the Pooh? Sweet. Winnie the Pooh. We haven't canceled our movie pass yet. We said we want to do Mamma Mia, but I secretly want to do Mamma Mia and Christopher Robin yeah. before we cancel it. But I haven't looked in the past weekend to see like if it's still a company. <laughs> Alright, so we've accomplished seven attractions in an hour and 45 minutes. Here's our eighth attraction. The only fantasy land attraction that we'll have not done that's open is gonna be uh, Seven Dwarfs. Yeah. We've been gone through standby queue for Peter Pan, so I'm pumped about that. Show it, show it, show it, please. Look at somebody's playing tricks on me. My name is right there. There's a butterfly on the camera. <laughs> Midnight, and you're gonna turn into a pumpkin <laughs> if we don't get home soon. The event is just don't lose your shoe. In exactly two hours, we did eight attractions, all of Fenris Land minus seven dwarfs. Yeah, it was a cool event. Like, I was nervous it wasn't gonna be worth it mm -hmm. because standard, like, day guests were gonna be in line for the first 45 minutes an hour. Yeah, but about 45 minutes after it started, just lines started dropping. All three mountains got down at 20 minutes each. Um, Mine train at train was 30. 30. Peter Pan, Peter Pan 25. Was After the first like 45 minutes. Sorry, I got distracted. I wish it was like an hour longer, I would say. Oh, if it was an hour longer, it would be cake. cake. The sprinklers are <laughs> They're probably on such a set schedule. This is Magic Kingdom gone. You don't gotta go home, but you can't <laughs> stay here. <laughs> We're home, and guess what? We realized that over the past like 20 days, we've only had two nights where it was really just Sarah and I like in a normal home. Yeah. VI pass holder was a lot of fun, better yeah, than I expected. We it. The only issue is it would have felt better if it was not, like we were saying earlier another hour because that first 30 minutes to 45 minutes of the event you're still weeding weeding out the regular guests, the day that were guests. Because yeah. you could they could hop in line until ten the other event started at ten. If you weren't an annual pass holder, you could hop in line at nine fifty nine. Yeah. And if it's an hour away for mine train, 
there's still an hour's worth of day guests to, to get out and leave before it's just events guests. Yeah. Well, we so, a good time. But it was a good time. We're happy. We would go again. Yeah, I wish uh, I wish we could go to the Upcat one, but you can only sign up for one right now. So. Alrighty, it's Monday. Yeah, it's 1.14 in the morning. And it is good and to be home. We woke up in Naples. We're here now. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>